Well, hey there, gang. It's snowing outside. We're a couple weeks from Thanksgiving. And for me, that's uh, one of my favorite times of year when I start thinking about Christmas baking and decorating. And so today, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make meringue mushrooms, which are one of the components, one of my favorite Christmas treats, which is my Bouche de Noel, Christmas Yule Log. is we're gonna make some meringue. So we've got our hand mixer. We got our pastry bag with a large rope tip. This is an Ateco number 10 tip. Uh, spatula, small sheet pan covered with parchment paper. And the first thing we need to do of course is make our meringue. So we're gonna do that now. For this type of project, I like to use meringue powder, uh, specifically Wilton's meringue powder. That's uh, good quality. So. We're gonna get started. We're gonna whip up our meringue. This will take a few minutes. And as soon as we're done with that, we'll be back to show you how we put them together. All right. So we've got our nice stiff peaks that we're looking for. You gotta have that for your meringue. Really important. You can't have a wimpy meringue for this job, all right? So, got a bag here, and what I'd like to do, before I start piping on my mushrooms, I take a little bit of my meringue, and I just put it down on my sheet pan. It's gonna be my glue. It'll hold that parchment down, so when I start piping onto the, onto the surface, the parchment's not gonna come back up on me. So, just a little bit of your meringue glue down there. Paste your bag. Okay. Just twist that top, get all the air out of there. All right, we're ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna make our mushrooms in two parts. We're gonna make the stems and we're gonna make the caps, all right? So I'm gonna start by making some stems. What you do is you just get your tip bag right down there and you start squeezing a little bit of pressure and then you just let go of the pressure as you come up. And I make them little different sizes because I don't want all my mushrooms to be exact same height. All right. Some I make really fat bottoms, some I make skinny bottoms, some I make stubby, some I make tall and narrow. That way when I get to decorating my cake, I got options, okay? Some of the mushrooms will be on the base, some will be on the log itself, etc. So, I'm gonna make myself about 50 of these and then I'm gonna make the caps. So the caps, you just start, uh, same thing, kind of start right at the, at the base there, but then you just hold your pressure a little longer and you might make it uh, rounder and flatter. So just kind of boom, like that. Just hold the tip right there. And you get these really nice, round mushroom caps. Don't worry about the little peaks on top. I'll show you how to deal with those in a second here. So the nice thing is I'm gonna make about a, I don't know, 70 or 80 mushrooms here. And I, these would be good to decorate five or six different cakes. And these will hold really nicely in an airtight container and a dry area once they've been properly baked. And so I'm pretty much done making all the mushrooms for all my u logs here. All right, so that's pretty good. Use up all my meringue. All right, now. 
If you notice on our caps here, we've got these little peaks. I don't know if you can see them, but what I do is I just dip my finger in some water and just go around and very gently tap them down so my mushroom cap is really nice and smooth on top. So we'll just go around and do that. Just take a minute here. Okay, so we're all set. I've got my oven preheated to 220 degrees. We're gonna pop these guys in there for about 30, 40 minutes, all right? We want them baked, we want them dried, but we don't want them brown. So you do need to keep an eye on them. I suggest turning about once halfway through. And then uh, when they're ready, we'll take them out and we'll tell you the next step. Okay, gang. It's been 40 minutes and these guys are looking beautiful. They're still a nice white, almost a cream color, so you can tell they're gonna start turning soon. Uh, I went the full 40. Uh, I, I believe that, you know, the longer you can go without turning them brown, the better off you're going to be, all right? So, there's our little guys. So now what we have to do now the hard part, we have to have some patience. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the, I turn the oven off, I'm going to put these back in the oven, and I'm going to let them sit overnight to really dry out well, okay? And then tomorrow, we'll come back, and we will show you how to decorate and assemble these little guys, and then we can put them on our Yule logs when we get around to baking them all over. All right, so, we'll see you tomorrow, and uh, we'll continue. All right, gang, we're back. We let our meringue sit overnight and they got really nice and dry but they're still white. Now I'm going to show you how to just put these little guys together and we'll um, be all set. See you. Okay, so just a couple more steps to get us where we need to be. So, first thing we're going to do, we're just going to sprinkle a little cocoa powder over the tops of our caps just to give a little more real look. Just very lightly, you don't want to overdo it. It's okay if you get a little on the sim, it's no big deal. All right. Got a bag of icing here. I've got chocolate, you can use white, it doesn't really matter. And all we do then is we just pick one of our caps that we want to use. And then we take a stem of any any size we want, so I'm gonna have a little shorter one. Got a paring knife. The bottom of my cap, I simply just carve out a little hole. Shoot some frosting into that. Glue it right together. That's all there is to it. Now, if I'm gonna put it on a platter or something, as opposed to right on a cake, then I just shoot a little icing on the bottom, and that'll stick it to my plate or platter. Keep her there, anchored very nicely. All right, we'll do one more. Just carve out a little bit. A little icing on the bottom. I'm gonna get a little taller one this time, so I'm gonna take one of my taller stems. Stick it in there. Boom. There we go, I've got five nice little mushrooms there. All right, so as you can see, you can really whip out a lot of these little guys in a short amount of time and you decorate all kinds of Christmas cakes and, and displays. I like to use them on my new logs. Just wanna mention one more thing. Remember I mentioned before, your meringue mushrooms can be kept in an air container for really four or six weeks and keep them in a cool, dry spot. Once you put them together with the frosting, not so. The, the meringue will eventually dissolve. So uh, make sure you wait until you're ready to use them before you actually glue them together. And uh, have some happy decorating. And look for my next video. We're going to make some marzipan pine cones and holly leaves to put on our new logs as well. All right. So enjoy and cheers. Thank you.